we are going to head out and see what we can find at the thrift stores. And today you get a bonus. I am collaborating with my friend Dawn over at the Teal Pumpkin. Go check out her video and see what she finds at the thrift stores. Make sure you subscribe. She has a ton of good content. And if you're new here coming from her channel, welcome. Here on my channel, I do everything home decor related. We are going to go do some thrifting today. The first stop we're going to go to is Salvation Army. And then hopefully if I have time, we've got two Goodwills that I want to stop at. So we've got a lot of places to go today. So let's get right into this. Well, everybody was thrifting today because it was pouring down rain and they had the same idea that I did. So this is going to be a combination of two stores. Um, we're in Salvation Army right now, and then we're going to flow into Goodwill. Now, I always just peek at the furniture. I always try to find something that might be a little bit older or vintage or antique that I can do a little flip on. And they had a lot of really like newer pieces, which I was really surprised. But I did find this one chair that I'm kicking myself that I didn't get. And I might go back and see if they still have it. Now, I've seen chairs like this before that have like leather in the middle. And obviously someone took it out. But I loved that piece. Then there was this black one, but it was very wobbly. And it was a nice solid piece. So probably just needs to have some screws tightened up. But that was another good one. Now, I always look at lamps because you can find some that don't even need to be like DIY or spray painted, and then you'll find other ones that do. Now, I was just looking at this particular one because my girlfriend was looking for this type of shape, um, and I would just spray paint that, and that's all you need to do is spray paint it and put a new shade. This one, I loved the texture on this one. And again, I would spray paint it. This would be really cute in a kitchen or a laundry room. And again, just get a cute little shade. Now, this little zebra one, I just loved. And it was just like the perfect size. And again, just spray paint it. Now, these two ones with the crosses, I'm looking for something like with that round base, but I want something a little bit bigger. And there was a pair, which is really rare. You normally don't find a pair, but they were just too small. And all that shelf, you all, was $4.99. I went back over to that one because I wanted to just check the cord. And that's another thing. Always check the cords on those because you want to make sure that the cord isn't damaged. Now, we all know coffee table books are so popular right now, and I almost dropped this one, but um, they're anywhere from $20 to $50. So what I recommend is just go to a thrift store and take the sleeve off of it, look at the color of the cover, and if it matches your decor, you can grab it for anywhere from $0.99 cents to $3. Why not do that? I mean, what a deal. And if you want to throw a coffee table book in that's like $20, which I've done, you can add one of those. And then no one's going to know the difference, you know, as far as buying just like a novel or something. So they had a ton. I was just trying to show you. Look at all those books. Even there was some like Daniel Steele, which I love Daniel Steele books. And I grabbed one. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Now, this is a great example of something that you will find at thrift stores. You will find brand new pieces like this. I love this. Put little flickery votive battery-operated candles in there. You could put that on your fireplace, a sofa um, table, so many uses for that. And it was $14.99, and it probably was regular, I would say, like 30 some dollars. So always check. You will be surprised of the new pieces that you can find. I was laughing at this little flask. It was 99 cents because I remember grandpa trying to sneak those into ball games, and that just was just, oh gosh, it was just tickling me. So again, some vases, and always think of like, can I spray paint this? Um, do I want it the color it is? Again, you just sort of have to, you know, remember if you like and, and like the shape of it, you can possibly do like a quick spray paint, quick little DIY. Now, I loved that. It looked vintage looking. It was very pastel looking. And this is now we're in the Goodwill store. And this must be something new that they are trying to group everything by colors, which I really like because it makes it so much easier to like look for the specific color that you are looking for. Now, I almost dropped this, you all, and oh my gosh, I don't know what I did, but I almost dropped it. Now, to wrap things up, I will show you this little 
I love this little bowl, but after further inspection, you'll hear me talk about it in a minute. I ended up putting it back, but I love, love the shape of this and it was just beautiful. We are back home and actually it's the next day. It was raining so bad yesterday. I just decided to call it quits. So I only went to two places and it wasn't as a successful trip as was last time. However, I did get four things and I'm gonna show you those and then I'll show you how I styled them. And everything I got, I was really happy with. And the one I paid a little bit more than probably what I should have, but everything else I think was reasonably priced. There were a couple items that I was going to pick up. One of them was that white like bowl that had like a little wave. It was really unique and I put it in my cart. And then when I picked it up and started looking at it, I noticed there was a crack in like the actual um, ceramic part of it. And then there was also a chip. So I just thought I'm gonna put that back. That's just not worth it. And then there was a little lamp at the second place I went to, the Goodwill. It was like a pink little lamp and I really liked it to like put in my laundry room or my countertop in the kitchen and just do like a quick little DIY. But I didn't grab that and I think it was only like $4.99. So I may go back and see if that's still there. But let's get right into what I did get. So this is the first little purchase and it was $1.99. This little pitcher, it's a white little pitcher and it is adorable. It's in really good shape. And the reason I grabbed this was it reminded me of my grandma growing up, going over to her house and spending the night and she would serve us like pancakes or waffles and she would put the syrup in here. And we just thought it was so fun when we were little girls, my sister and I, to pour the syrup all over our, you know, our pancakes or our waffles. So I loved this. Um, I will probably use it for that same purpose or even for milk to pour in, you know, when I have guests over for coffee or tea. So I loved this. Now, I probably am gonna just put this in my cabinet. I'm not going to style it because it is something that, you know, I'm, I don't really have anywhere in my kitchen to style it. So this was my first purchase. And again, it just reminded me of my sweet grandma. This little towel is so pretty. I paid $4.99, which was probably way too much, but I just thought this was so unique. So it has like a waffle um, weave to it. And then at the bottom, it's almost like it's crocheted and has like a little floral print. So I thought this would be really good in a bathroom, like on one of those towel rings by the sink. And you could either use it just for decoration because it's so pretty, or you could use it to, you know, for your guests or whomever to dry their hands. Because of the waffle, I think that it would be really easy to wash. There's no instructions on here as to how to wash it, but I would just probably do delicate and line dry it and maybe, you know, fluff it up. But I just could not pass this up because it was so pretty. And I was having a bad day, so I'm like, this is perfect. You don't have to This little apron is just so adorable. Again, there were so many things there, you all, that reminded me of my grandma, and she was the sweetest lady and cooked a lot. So this little apron, it just has sort of like, it reminded me like of Thanksgiving. Um, there are roosters on it, there's little pictures on it, and then it just, you know, obviously has this brown tie. I thought this was so pretty and I probably will use it if I'm cooking for Thanksgiving. And then also I want to get a um, little shelf for my kitchen. So if I, one of those shelves that have like little hooks on it, I thought this would be really cute to decorate that with. So this was so cute. And I, again, I have two things that reminded me of grandma and I couldn't pass them up. Dreams, tears are a proof of failure. You just gotta let Can do whatever you like. You don't have to be ready. 
item I picked up today was this little bird picture. I could not resist. I have a little bird theme going on, I guess, in one of my bathrooms. And I thought this would be perfect addition. It was $1.99. Now the frame says Hobby Lobby on the back, but I just liked the picture of this bird. It looked very vintage. And I just thought this would be perfect. I have a little shelf in my bathroom and I'm gonna just lean it up against that. You'll see here in a minute. But again, it looked vintage to me and that's what I really liked about it. Now, again, this is just a gold frame from Hobby Lobby. In fact, it doesn't have the price on it from Hobby Lobby. But in any case, it's just a five by seven, but someone obviously put this picture in there and that's why I grabbed it. Those are the four items that I got in my thrifting little trip this week. I want to just give you guys a few little tips when you're out thrifting. First of all, be intentional when you're looking for pieces. It's so easy to pick up a dollar here, a dollar there, um, and just be intentional. Think through when you're at the store, where can I put this so it doesn't end up in a bag to go back to another thrift store. And I try to do that. I don't just buy things on impulse. The other thing that I would uh, recommend is to really inspect the item. And that is even something that like material I look over things very carefully there are times like I said earlier in the video that I had that item in my cart and then when I picked it up I saw a flaw and you know if I would have got home I would have been so mad at myself so keep that in mind and another little tip I'll tell you is it's hit or miss so you're going to go out one day and you're going to find a bunch of things and then other days you're not but that's the fun of thrifting is you want to keep going back or go to other thrift stores that we have like six Goodwill thrift stores around here. And I've only gone to three of them. And I've got three more on my list that I need to um, shop at. And so that'll be a future video. But just keep in mind, it's hit or miss, be intentional and inspect items that you purchase. And that's going to wrap it up for today. I really appreciate you all being here. If you're new, I'd love for you to subscribe. One other thing is check out my shorts. I post little cleaning tips and hacks that are very affordable, usually Monday through Friday, sometimes on Sunday. Um, and that's over on my shorts feed, which if you just are in my feed, you can go to the home page and it will show you like a little button for my shorts. So check that out because they're just fun little tips that I am sharing with everybody and everybody seems to really like them. So I'm going to continue on with that. But anyways, thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye now.